Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at macros, uh, which are basically recordings of a set of keystrokes. So you can do something, record it, and then play it back. So it automatically does it on other pictures, which is great if you do the same sort of thing a lot of the time. And we can start off, we're just going to look at the library. And this is, if you go to View, Studio, and down here, here's the library. This comes up on the left by default, but it's a panel like any other, so I could put it over here or in here and so on. But I could hover it over there, see it goes blue, shows it where it's going to be, let go, and there it lands. As default, you just get a few sample ones to do things. So down here, we've got one called Flip Vertical. Guess what happens if I click that? Bing, I flip vertical here. And if I play it's Flip Vertical again, when I do this down here in the history, it just shows me the name of the macro here, because each one of these is a macro. It tells you how many steps there are in it. And these are very, very simple ones. So you can have just one step. That's OK, because if you do it quickly, it's a very quick way of just running a command. So what else do we have in the library here? We have this one called default, this little triangle here. So I have groups of, of macros, and these are called categories. and if I look at the little hamburger up here, what does that do? I can rename that. I can delete it. And when I've got more than one category, I can shift them about so that they look. And you can also export them. If you export, it'll give you the name of the D the category and, and AF macros. No, importantly, it's got a plural here. It's got an S on the end. Because if you're exporting a single macro, it'll have no S on the end. So let's cancel that. What else do we have here? We can have, if I click up on the library, I can create new category. So I could create one there, just default name macros. And I'll click on the hamburger there. Let's call rename that. And I'll call that, select it here, play pen for something for us to play around in. So I could take one of these down here. And if notice if you click on it, I just flipped it horizontal. It'll, it'll run it. Just one click runs it. So if you click and hold, I can drag it down and put it into the playpen ones. And so I close that up. So you can open up these. You could have a whole row here of categories or like folders, really. You can only have one level of folders. You can't put one inside the other. Shame about that. That's how it is. You can click and drag them around the place. And if I go to the playpen there, click it down here, move up it'll move it up above the default one. What else we can do here? I can import macros. So if I hit import, I can go to other macros. So let's take this mac these macros here and open that. And now I've got a great big one. So let's close the default. And these are some quite complicated ones. They're done by James Ritson, who is a um, really clever guy, does a lot of very, very good videos for Affinity itself. If you want to find out more about you know macros like this, these categories, groups of macros, go up to help, go to the support, and you will get to down here, here we go, the affinity forum. And if you go down here, look in things like tutorials, um, tips and tricks, and particularly resources, look in there, you will find in here several things that might be useful like categories sets of macros so if you take some of these look at these this one has got 46 steps in it in other words it's got 46 commands one after the other and some of these are a little bit yeah, easier so let's do a shadow boost here click on that and look it's lightened up under here and i can adjust this here there you go. It gives it time. You give it give it time to catch up. It'll eventually get there because it's got to process it and extra boost and so on. So and these are quite easily set up when you're doing macros. So I'll cancel that. So as you can see, you can do quite complicated things with macros. It's a little bit more work, and we can look at those in more detail in another video. These down the bottom here generally don't worry too much about those. Those are details when you are using macros. 
and I'll see you in another video. Thank you very much for watching.